Jeffrey Riggs, a name and face I didn't know six months ago. Yet God placed you on my heart, not yet knowing who you were. Faith saw and took a hold of two souls, longing to be unconditionally loved. God himself searched our heart and souls. If you love good. Someone, good. Good. Very pretty. If it wasn't for God, we wouldn't be here. He placed us on Chrissy's mind. He shown us we were. I prayed for you, for us, and our future in God's time. I trusted his plan, even when it felt like there wasn't one. I prayed for a man that would love and accept me as I am, that he would love Aiden as his own, that he would love God as much or more than I do, and that together we would be unstoppable living out his plan for us. I felt like I was asking for too much, but then through Chrissy, God brought me you. I love being in the present with you, making plans for our future, and laughing with you more than I've ever laughed in my entire life. I love your Eskimo kisses, <laughs> and growing more and more in love with you every single day. You are my sweetest and most safest place I have ever been, and I was not prepared for the beauty of your genuine soul and your soft classic elegance. It's obvious that God had brought us together with so many similarities and coincidences that are so in sync. When we both showed up in Converse to our first date, I felt like it was a sign from God. At the end of our date, you said, I can call or text you anytime. I didn't know why at the time, but the first thing that blurted out of my mouth was ditto, which I never used to say. I later learned that you had prayed and wanted to know if your dad would have liked me. And ditto was something he always said to your mom. Yet another sign. God himself searched our heart and souls and knew what we needed and realized that we were a perfect fit. When I wasn't looking, searching, or even being the furthest from my mind, you're the last thing my heart had ever expected. I can honestly say I was provided with the best gift in life and God gave me you. Your mind, body, and soul spoke to me in a language that only my heart could have heard the day that we met. It was like an old, familiar song playing on the radio, resonating and giving my soul goosebumps. And for once in my life, I finally felt like I was at home. With patience, you looked at me and took a chance and started to rebuild this broken shell of a man that I once was. You are my best friend, a soulmate, and you walked into a life and taught me a love that I had never imagined. I used to see certain couples and wish I had a relationship like theirs, but I don't anymore. Because my favorite love story is ours. You have quickly become my best friend, my partner in life, and my love from now until eternity. Just like that, how could I want